Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Daily Chase Vlogs. We have been away for about a week, and I so greatly apologize. Um, I thank you so much for all your kind comments and reaching out to us. Um, our daughter was hospitalized for a few days, and um, she is much better, and she's home. But thank you so much to everyone. Thank you so much for your patience. Uh, we stopped posting videos for about a week, and I missed you guys. So we are back and it's gonna be Memorial Day weekend and I'm looking forward to that we're planning on a barbecue so maybe we'll share with you what we're gonna make what we're gonna buy what we're gonna do I don't know the weather in New Jersey has been really crazy I think it's supposed to rain for the next three days so maybe Wednesday Thursday Friday which is not a good thing uh, for Memorial Day weekend, but I think Saturday, Sunday, and Monday um, should be okay. I don't know. You know, the weather changes in a drop of a hat, but um, I don't plan on doing anything special. Just, you know, chicken, hamburgers, hot dogs, and maybe a few salads for over the weekend. And I, what do you guys have plans? Leave down in the comments. What, what are your plans for Memorial Day weekend? Any special recipes or anything that you make for this weekend did you guys head to the beach uh, I am so not ready for beach weather I had the heat on two days ago although my air has been on here and there for uh, a couple of days here where it was kind of humid in the house and you just couldn't stand it you just had to turn it on just to get the humidity out of the house my girls are good everybody's doing well my husband's doing well we are um, working on our garden everything should be in by now I still have a few things that need to get planted and that I hope to do in the next few days my dill didn't do very well and I make a lot of pickles during the summertime so I want to try to plant some new dill and my basil's not looking very wonderful but I will um, check into that too I may just need a little tender loving care if not I gotta go buy some new basil plants Those of you that live by the beach, do you guys go to the beach? Do you go in the pool? Uh, what do you do, you know, to cool off in the summertime? I don't have a pool. I do have access to a pool through family, which I don't go to very often. Um, my girls go here and there. I'm not a daytime beach person. I grew up on the beach. I lived on the beach every day of the summer of every year of my life with my mom. That was basically, um, maybe five six hours starting at nine o'clock she used to leave when it got really hot about one but we were there early in the morning we ate lunch there I got chased by bees I remember being little and the bees come at you when you get your sandwich mom gave me a sandwich and all of a sudden uh, here comes the bees and I used to drop my food and run or I would take my food with me and I would run where I was going, I don't know, because the bees were following me just as fast as I was running, but I always remember that. Also, I'm not a big water person. I don't like the ocean. I don't like the crabs in the sand. I don't like the jellyfish. I don't like the ocean. I have, um, remember, one of my memories is standing in the sand and the crabs coming up and biting your toes and me picking up my foot out of the water and like shaking my foot screaming because this crab was hanging from my toe no not interested <laughs> i'll go maybe to my knees that's about it there's crabs and jellyfish in the water you won't see me at all i love my favorite time of the day to be at the beach is like four o'clock to seven o'clock i i love to go down with the chair all all the um, the people are mostly gone and it's quiet we bring sandwiches or whatever for dinner and um, it's not hot I can't handle the heat the heat makes me so sick I, if I spent the day at the beach in the heat that night I would be sick all night long so I can't do that anymore but my kids love going later in the day and just relaxing and not really going in the ocean they're not big on the ocean either probably my fault but they do you know just like to be on the water's edge like me and less crowds that time of day but that's my one of my happy places besides being home home is always my happy place love to be there
Okay, don't mind how I look. I feel miserable. I have a horrible headache and everything is disorganized and things aren't going the way that they're supposed to go. And today I put the chicken and the stuffing in the crock pot to make dinner early. All well knowing that my husband would not eat this without cranberry sauce. Never got to the store to get the cranberry sauce. So I was just like, he's going to have to deal without the cranberry sauce. Well, guess where I am? Well, I don't think you could say. I'm at Dollar General looking for cranberry sauce. And they don't have cranberry sauce. Not even one. Not even one. Not even one dented, dented. can of cranberry sauce. <laughs> can of cranberry sauce. We both know what you're saying. So, oh, I keep losing the thing. So, I'm off to Stop and Shop to find cranberry sauce. Hello. Say hi, Kayla. Hello. Miserable, pounding headache. And I'm going to get cranberry sauce just to keep the peace with my husband because mm -hmm. he wants cranberry sauce with chicken and stuffing. And there's no way around it. And I just want everybody out there to know that with a splitting, pounding headache and not feeling good, that I'm driving all over town looking for cranberry sauce for my husband. And I don't care if it's dented. Let me tell you, the next time I go food shopping, we will not be out of cranberry sauce for a long time. I plan on taking stock in cranberry sauce. Like everything else. Okay guys, well, it's been short and sweet today. Uh, I uh, just wanted to let you know the chicken and stuffing in the crock pot came out really good. Um, just to go over really quick, I sprayed the crock pot with um, cooking spray. I put in four or five pieces, six pieces of chicken, put as much chicken as you want. Um, I, they were frozen and boneless and um, a can of cream of whatever soup goes on top of that, just spread it over the top. And then it called for one box of stovetop stuffing mixed with two cups of um, chicken broth. I doubled that because my family, there's five of us and they like a lot of stuffing. And I, I think I, I will do that again. Um, even though there was a little bit left over, I'd rather have more than not enough. And um, that stuffing gets mixed in a bowl. Um, so I did two boxes and four cups of broth, chicken broth, mixed it together, and then that goes on top of the chicken. And then it cooked on low um, for four to six hours, and it was delicious. The only thing different I think I would probably do is, I even know that this, the, the chicken soup mix has salt in it and stuff, and the everything had salt. I probably would have seasoned the chicken breast a little bit because they were a tiny bit bland, but everything else was good. Everybody in my family ate it. So it's definitely something that I'm going to be making again. Um, I uh, will be back tomorrow. I'll be making more videos, hopefully on a daily basis again. Uh, thank you so much for everyone for your support. And I um, missed you all. I missed making videos. And I will see you tomorrow. I hope everyone has a great day. And um, take care. Bye-bye.